Hello guys and welcome to a new War Thunder video today by me, Vulcan. Today I'm doing my first video from my new house. I've just recently moved, which is why there hasn't been videos in the last couple of days. And yeah, as you can hear, the mic quality is going to be a diff bit different for a while because we still haven't moved in all the furniture, so it's a little bit echoey. Echo! As you can hear, probably. It's not going to echo like when you shout down mountains, it's more like you can kind of hear the acoustic sound of my voice, it reverbs around the room, it's kind of weird. Anyway, hopefully you guys don't mind it too much and I'm going to continue on today by playing a historical battle in the BF-109F. Now this is an extremely popular plane in War Thunder and I hope I do reasonably well in my historical battle with it. but. We'll have to wait and see as I join the queue for historical battles. So here we are guys on Operation Britain. I've got the BF-109 and I'm going to be attacking the White Cliffs of Dover. This is a pretty awesome battle to get, I must be honest. And we're going to be playing against mid-tier Spitfires. And I've got my BF-109 with my beautiful camo. Just look at that. It's absolutely beautiful. It's like the white camo. It's to do with some kind of ace, I believe, or a specific squadron who had this particular camo because it made them very hard to spot in clouds. And they used to dive out of the clouds and basically strafe down the back of aircraft. So I'm going to use this time before I get to the shore to climb into the sky. The BF-109 is primarily an energy fighter, so I'm going to be using that to my advantage throughout this game. I have a single cannon on the front, I believe, and two machine guns on the top. You can see there's two on the top there and one in the front. Now, very, very powerful if you can catch people out, so that's exactly what I'm hoping to do. But first of all, it's time to climb high in the sky. This is the 1.33 patch, so I have upgraded this plane pretty much to the max except from the last two upgrades which come from I think getting past 90,000 XP I think I've got about 83,000 XP on the uh, BF-109 so I've played it a reasonable amount in arcade um, but I honestly prefer the Spitfires over the BF-109 but either way each to their own I don't mind this plane at all and I'm going to be using it in this battle obviously to hopefully shoot down some Spitfires each the Spitfire and the BF-109 both have their strengths and weaknesses. The BF-109 is obviously a lot faster um, and the Spitfire can generally turn quicker. So we'll see how it goes. Not sure why I'm so much faster than this guy behind me. Might be because of my engine upgrades. Basically I'm a little bit over the normal speed for the BF-109 so I've kind of gone over the new vehicle spec with like a upgraded spec of plane so that's why I go quite fast even up in the sky so even like facing up I probably only drop down to about 320 kilometers per hour which isn't actually that bad but when I look down I'm going to be picking up a lot of speed and I'm going to have to be very very careful about that because the thing is with the BF-109, I played it once in my first historical battle with the BF-109, I actually dived too fast that my wings came off. And that's actually quite embarrassing. So I don't intend to try and do that in this particular battle, but if we do spot someone who we can take advantage of, I will be diving towards them. Now, the best way to dive in the BF-109 is to turn the engine actually down, not up, not boost towards them or anything, otherwise you'll gain too much speed and you'll miss. Also, combat flaps come in handy when you're getting close to stabilize the plane and looks like there's a couple of Spitfires here that we might be able to take advantage of but before we do them there's one actually at my altitude so I'm going to climb even higher uh, have I got any teammates around? No I have not so I'm going to have to be careful about this guy he's going to uh, try and out climb me probably as well Got to be careful of any plane nearby. There's one just down there. Got the one in the distance that's climbing very, very steeply over there, just like I am. I think we're both trying to get a height advantage on each other. But this time, in this particular battle, I'm not going to go overkill on the first person shooting. I'm actually going to use third person shooting. I'm quite good at leading in third person, 
because you kind of get the hang of it in arcade. So we'll see how it goes. If it's going to be a head-on pass though, then I'll definitely go into the cockpit because I just find it's actually a million times better anyway. But here we go. First pass. Is he going to be diving away from me? Okay, he's going to just go straight past. That's fine by me. I can just fly up into the distance. He's going to do a loop the loop, lose all of his energy. And then what I can do after this BF-109 gets on his ass. Never mind, the BF-109 took him out. I was going to say I could shoot him down, but <laughs> it looks like my teammate got the kill anyway. So there we go. Basically what happened there was the Spitfire uh, expected to be in a dogfight with me, but basically I just used my speed to just go away so that I didn't lose my advantage. And then my friendly BF-109 came in and took the kill because the Spitfire had lost all of his energy, so he was pretty much an easy target. And now I've got 500 kilometers per hour, and there's a Spitfire up here that's going to get a hell of a beating if he's not careful, because I am so fast right now. I'm going to use some quick emergency war power. Fire a few shots. No, it doesn't look like it's going to work. And I don't think I'm going to be able to kill him, so I'm going to actually pull away from this and get my speed back. And then if the teammate follows him up, then what I'll try and do is shoot him down. But it looks like the Spitfire is trying to chase me, which is a bad idea because he still has a beer on an island tail. So there you can see I'm going to have to turn around now. I'm on 630 kilometers per hour, so I can't turn too fast. You can hear my pilots having a bit of a time trying to breathe which is interesting now he's trying to bring us down to his altitude where he performs better than the BF-109 you can see both of my teammates are actually spiraling down after him which is kind of a bad idea I've turned my engine speed right down so I can possibly do the same but I don't want to get into the position where I lose the speed advantage because as soon as you lose momentum in the BF-109 that's pretty much it it takes you a long time to build it up and you can see I'm currently running at 600 kilometers per hour consistently and if I begin to go into a turning fight I'll lose that completely so what I've kind of try and do is get down to an altitude where I can dive without breaking my wings off so here I'm going to try and turn in there's a Spitfire just ahead of me I'm going to turn the engine down and I pull up slightly just to break some of the speed and hopefully, with any luck, we can get a nice hit as we go past. Okay, we managed to hit him. Unfortunately, I didn't quite get enough hits on him to get the kill. But we're going to use the speed to get back up in altitude. And we're going to come back around and try again. And this is the best way to deal with Spitfires. A lot of my teammates are getting kills, but they're a bit playing very, very risky. Next time I'll probably use my combat flaps as well actually, it might allow me to be more stable a little bit more accurate as I come in to attack this Spitfire from behind. So he's turned towards me and he's breaking my speed here, that's what he's doing. And this Spitfire is chasing my teammate, so I'll try and give some shots onto him. And we'll pull away, take the flaps back up to raised. Swing back round. Try not to lose too much speed. I think I may have turned a little bit too fast there. But we're going to try and latch on to this Spitfire. That's rolling around at low altitude. And uh, nope, doesn't look like we're going to get it on this pass. So back up we go. Two Spitfires, one just crashed without giving anyone a kill. I've got to be careful of this AA. <laughs> I didn't actually realise we were so close to that, that's the trouble of being at such low altitude. And there goes the second one. Fortunately the BF-109s have got them shot down. We're going to have to be careful, the Spitfire is actually turning away from me, oh that is a bad move. Okay, I'm on his tail now. Okay, I've got a, I've got a Typhoon on my ass, because I, I remember seeing him. Now, I'm going to have to be so careful with this Spitfire. 
So I'm using my whip to get me up into the air. And I only got a kill assist for that, that's unfortunate. But we've still got something on my tail. I can't exactly see what it is. I'm going to have to be very, very careful. Because my wings are broken. Oh my god. That was close. Okay. I've got Typhoon Mark 1 on my ass, and there's not much I can do about it. Oh god. Oh god. No, I think I'm going to lose it here. Yeah. Unfortunately, my wings were so shot up that I lost complete control of my aircraft. Which is really unfortunate. Hope I was hoping that my teammates might have actually been able to hit him a bit sooner. But, unfortunately, not the case. Either way... BF-109 actually going for a crash landing here. Well, managed to get the wheels down and they took the, the fall for him. But that looks like the end of this pilot's life. <laughs> As he slices his wing off on a tree. But the pilot survives, so there you go. That's a win, I guess. <laughs> Generally, it was all the, the pilot was all that mattered. The plane sometimes mattered, depending on whether it was a prototype or not. But either way, that's going to be the end of this historical battle for me. So I'm going to move back to the loading screen now. So there you go, guys. That is my look at the BF-109 in historical battles. Unfortunately, I didn't get too many kills which is kind of annoying, so what I'll do is I'll play an extra few historical battles and I'm not going to necessarily commentate them because it honestly can get quite annoying trying to commentate over and over again to get particular replays that have kills. So I'm not going to do that because I don't want to cheat you guys and say, oh look, I'm great because I got this one out of 10 battles where I got like four kills. I'm not going to do that. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to leave you guys with some kill shots that I got in the next couple of games that I will play with this BF-109. And hopefully you guys can enjoy seeing the power that the BF-109 actually has, not just the maneuverability and speed that I demonstrated earlier. So, hopefully this was insightful. Hopefully it taught you guys how to play the BF-109 effectively. I can't say I'm the master at this plane, but hopefully my tips can help. But thanks for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Hopefully you guys can bear my mic. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye. And I'm probably going to be able to pick up a lot of speed. I'm actually turning my engine down so that he doesn't outturn me. Oh, that was close. Okay, so we're going to turn it back the opposite direction and we're going to pull away because there's no point in trying to turn into that because he'll probably win. So we're going to use our speed to just completely pull away from that at 600 kilometers per hour. That's ridiculous. Get my altitude back and possibly even help this BF-109 that's struggling against the Spitfire. Looks like Soggy Tissues has been shot down. That is unfortunate. And now the Spitfire is coming straight for me. And landed a kill shot straight through my pilot. There we go.